Uh, Joe. So, congratulations, off and running here at Minehead over Jamie Hughes over on stage two there. Just sum up the performance for us. Yeah, the, the performance wasn't the best, but it was all about getting a win. And I've, I've not um, not played much competitive darts of late. You know, I've obviously had the Grand Slam off, and, and I wasn't great at the last Players Championship. So it was. I was. I'll be honest. I was a bit nervy going into it, but it was. It was all about just getting some sort of win and like I say it wasn't pretty but I won so that's all the matters. Just on that, where is your headspace right now? Like you said, because you haven't played much and not trying to qualify for the for the Grand Slam, where, where are you at the moment? Yeah, I've been in, been in better places to be honest <laughs> but it, it is what it is, you know, I've, I've, I've been on top of the world, you know, last year, you know, winning, winning things, being in the Premier League and things like that, you've got to take the rough with the smooth sometimes and like I said, this, this year has been... It's been, it's been decent, you know, it's been decent, especially on TV, you know, I've, I've, I've put in some good performances and some good runs, but it's, um, yeah, it's been, it's been a different year and, like I say, I'm not, not probably in the best sort of headspace at the minute, but, like, like I say, that, that comes with the territory. Choosing not to qualify or try and qualify for the Grand Slam, was that because you were game or, or other reasons why you no, chose not to? No, other reasons, yeah, that I didn't think... It's one of those, if, if, you're playing in, if you're playing in something, then you need to be able to give it everything and I, I didn't feel like I, I would have done if, if, if I'd have gone so I thought it would have been you know a waste of time for me and, and my sponsors and things like that so you know I took the decision to um, to to not go and I think I decided that probably three weeks well the best part of three weeks off would benefit me more than potentially qualifying for the Grand Slam and you know I know, I know tonight wasn't pretty but um, you know I'm, I'm in tomorrow that's all that matters. Obviously your record at Minehead not particularly good so no matter what the performance is like it must be nice just to win here. Was it not good? <laughs> the last couple of times I've been here, I've done all right. But um, oh, it's it's tough, especially the short format. You know, in the first couple of rounds. And I think if if, if I'm completely honest, I think the, the the way I'm playing and the way I'm feeling at the minute, I think if Jamie would have come up with anything half decent tonight, he probably would have beat me. Uh, but that's that's probably just what I needed. You know, Jamie Jamie was terrible tonight. I think he'd be the first to admit. Um, and I think that's 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 what I needed. I, hopefully, I can. Um, I can get the, the first round out of the system and push on tomorrow. Little section of the draw you're in, what's your what's your take on it? Yeah, you know, I'm not not gonna lie, I've obviously looked at the draw and um, <laughs> I've had it before at the Worlds and I got beat first round by Brendan Dolan so you know I've I've, I've learned that way not to get ahead of yourself but you know I'd be lying if I didn't say that it was um, an enticing, an enticing section, I think. That's that's the way I put it. But it's you know Ryan Josh is playing fantastic at the minute, so I'll have to be on my game. I'll have to, certainly have to be better than tonight um, to beat him tomorrow. Good run here can obviously catapult you to the world in a completely different frame of mind and confidence-wise. So is this what it's all about? Is building confidence heading towards Ali Pali? Yeah, it isn't it? Isn't it? I think um, that's is that's is you know so mental. I think when you can be full of confidence going into it, and then you can turn up on the day and just just not be there. It's just it's so strange, and I think. Um, um, I don't think there's many sports in it that's like that. Maybe, maybe golf, maybe. You know, if, if, if you're not on it, you, you do that on your own, and, it, and, it's, and it's tough, really. So, um, but yeah, it's, it, it is cliche, but it is one game at a time, especially games like tomorrow. You know, you've got to play in the afternoon if you win, then you've got to play again at night. So it's about pacing yourself and, and making sure you're right for the games. The fact that you've had good Euro Tour success, does that hold you in good stead tomorrow? Because it's the same kind of thing. To- yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. Um, I hope so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, I, I don't know. Like I say, I've, um, I've struggled a bit probably the last probably month, month and a half, probably, probably away, from, away from darts. So I, I think it's, it's crept into my game, and I, I didn't think I wanted to admit it to myself. And, like I say, I think the Grand Slam qualifier, I finally admitted it to myself and said that it, was, it wasn't best for me to, you know, to, to go to it. So, um, yeah, I'm in a, in a better place at the minute, and hopefully I can have a great one this weekend. Jay, congratulations on the result. That's just what...